Hello everyone and welcome to another Biosphere 2 Live. My name is John Adams. I'm Deputy Director here at Biosphere 2. And what we hope to do with all of our Biosphere 2 Lives is give you a unique perspective on the Biosphere 2 facility itself, the researchers who work here and the biomes that they work in and experiment with. But today what we wanted to show you was a little bit behind the scenes at our power plant, our energy center. And one of the key features for Biosphere 2 are the cooling towers. So we're standing right here next to one of our cells. We have three cells and these are crucial pieces of equipment. Now let me just put a couple of things in perspective for you. So originally Biosphere 2 is this large greenhouse. It was designed to be completely isolated from the outside and is doing so you could imagine on a day like today or on a hot summer day it's going to take a lot of cooling to keep those temperatures where they need to be so that you don't kill the plants and the animals living inside, for example. But, as you can imagine, that takes a lot of energy. Your costs go up. Now, more recently, under the guidance of the University of Arizona, what we've done is we've looked at ways that we can creatively experiment with the facility, still achieve the results and desired conditions of our researchers, but optimize or lessen our energy and our water consumption. So one of the things we found we could do is we could actually open the biosphere up. We could run it more like a traditional greenhouse. And in doing so, you bring air in in a lower location and you vent it out the top. Now you're still gonna need a little bit of cooling, but by changing this operational parameters, we have approximately reduced our energy consumption by more than 50%. And we have reduced our water consumption by more than 60%. We've been able to get away from using, for example, a mechanical chiller. For those of you who have an air conditioning at home, it's a very similar device, only it's a much larger one. We've been able to almost completely eliminate that and use these cooling towers and the evaporative process to cool the air that's needed inside Biosphere 2 to keep the plants and the conditions for those plants at an optimal level. So these cooling towers are pretty unique. If any of you have been to a central plant anywhere else, most of the fill that houses or is used in cooling towers is either wood or plastic. These were ceramic. And so what makes it really unique is they've, they're really resistant and they don't decay or break down like a lot of these other materials. And what you're looking at here is the basin. And we have, this tower is called an up, updraft tower. So there's a big fan at the top. We're gonna walk over and see one that has water running in it. We've turned this one off because it's really loud. You probably have a tough time hearing me. But what happens is the water is pumped to the top of the tower and it's allowed to flow down. And you'll see it almost looks like a rain shower. And then what happens is you've got a fan up on top that's pulling air up across that water column that's running down. So this is an updraft tower. And what that does is it helps to remove heat. So you've got sensible heat and you've got evaporation. So that evaporation removes heat from the water, we cool the water, and then we can use that cooled water to actually condition the air inside Biosphere 2. Now on a day like today when it's pretty dry, it's hot, that means our dew point is low, that means the, likely, or the, the things that want to drive evaporation are really efficient. Now as you can imagine for any of those that have, have a swamp cooler at your house or an evaporative cooler, or maybe you lived and had one in years past, well, as you know, they work really well during this time of the year, but as we get closer to monsoons, they don't work as well. Why is that? Well, you've got more moisture in the air. It's higher humidity. That means that dew point, it's much more difficult to reach it. And so the air can't hold as much water because it's already got a lot. So you're not evaporating off. And that's why things feel sticky, for example, and lots of water. Here, they evaporate off any water because it wants to move into the atmosphere. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk over and we're going to show you one of the ones, one of the towers that currently has water cascading down. And again, we feed all this water over to and through our central plant to Biosphere 2. It goes into air handlers. We have 26 air handlers throughout Biosphere 2. We run that water through a closed loop within the air handler. We bring air across it. That warm air is cooled by this cooler coil and then we distribute it to the biome. That's how we condition the air inside Biosphere 2 and achieve the temperature settings that our researchers have. Now, again, most of the time this is effective. There are those conditions and requirements when we do need to revert to a mechanical chiller. But again, remember, we've been able to not do that only on select events or select experiments, which means that we've significantly reduced not only water use, 
but energy consumption. So why don't you follow me over here. So again, you can see the water flowing down and the fan is pulling that air up through the water column. We remove heat through evaporation from the water. Its temperature is reduced and then we feed it back over to the biosphere. That biosphere, again, in the air handler, it takes the heat out of the air, that water temperature rises. We bring it up back over here and the water then is cooled and sent back over. So that's the loop that we have. But again, remember, inside biosphere two, this is all a closed loop, even though it's open loop on the outside. We hope you have enjoyed this segment of Biosphere Two Live. Um, if you have any questions or think of any, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Our team here is continuously monitoring our social media sites and we'll do our best to answer your question in a timely manner. Again, thank you very much. My name is John Adams and I'm Deputy Director here at Biosphere 2.